Development cooperation generates huge amounts of information, and much of it never reaches anyone. Often it's not even clear who the projects intend to reach, or the definition of the target groups is really theoretic, not actionable. So if you want your target groups to hear you, and maybe even get them to do what you suggested, then you better be strategic about it. Now the good thing is for you that a lot of the projects that compete with you for the attention of your target groups are only repeating very standard communications activity. They rely on factual content instead of being responsive and relatable, for example, and they hardly ever use emotional triggers or humor. You have lots of opportunities to be different without having to go wild with creativity. The process of setting up a communication strategy allows you to think through all the important components up front so that you can focus on implementing excellent communications that gets to your target groups when the time comes. Starting with the six components of communication strategy is a good way to compile your plan. Concentrate on your goals, messages, target groups, channels, tools, frequency, and the measuring of your communications. Constantly remind yourself and your colleagues in the wider communications team to focus on the target groups. You want to get well connected with them and your project stakeholders, leaving an impression that goes beyond the individual message. Planning and then starting to implement is always a difficult process, even for the professional planners and development cooperation. And I reckon this has to do with a principal contradiction between plan and strategy. The success of a strategy is based on its clear, focused thought. It is in need of greatest flexibility, while planning wants to predetermine the ways and means in order to be ready to walk a particular path. The ultimate art is to reconcile these two wishes to a perfect compromise. How can I plan to be prepared with greatest flexibility? And one last tip for now. In development cooperation, the risk for over-planning always seems greater than being too strategically flexible. But in my experience, the risk is not so much over-planning per se, but restricting your planning options to tools that are known to your project or common to development cooperation. So looking ahead on the basis of research you did on your target groups up front before you sketch your communication strategy will help you to position yourself as a communicator who successfully implements project communications. Now, thanks for your trust today. I hope you enjoyed my way of explaining concepts and you got some added value for setting up your project's communication strategy. I suggest you get started. And remember, I will, I will record more mini courses on development cooperation communication topics and I hope to see you there too. Thank you very much. Yeah.